Alejandro Gallardo is one of the prominent weavers in Ayacucho. I first met him in 1986. This photograph is from that period, and he showed me how he got the cochineal dye from the cactus. And that's today's demonstration is using cochineal to dye, in this case, alpaca yarns. This is the dried cochineal, and he will first uh, grind it so it can be added to the, the dye bath. And you can see it's coming out as a very fine powder. Yeah. The next step is to build a fire and boil the cauldron that will be used for the actual dyeing. He's got the cochineal laid out there on that sheet of paper at the bottom left. And he's starting to build his fire. This is done up on the roof of his home and workshop. This whole process took several hours, so uh, you can see now he, the water has come to a boil and he's adding the cochineal and getting that beautiful purple color that's going to be going into the, into the yarns. His goal is to have several different shades by leaving the yarn in the bath for longer periods of time. So here's the three skeins of alpaca yarn that he's using today. Stirring it around, checking the color again and again. This goes on for a long time, the three different skeins are in for different periods of time. The longer they're in, the darker yeah, the color. Yeah. So one's already been brought out and now he's checking the second one. Now he's grinding the mordant. Mordant is a, well, dyeing is a chemical process, and, and you can add various things to the, the dye bath to change the color or to fix the color. Um, these are different, um, typically mineral uh, things, aluminum and copper, and uh, they even use stale urine. Um, there's uh, some some of these things are done together to get a certain color and all of these uh, combinations may well be kept a secret mm. so that others can't steal their their colors so now the Morden is going in and the third, the third batch is still in the yeah. in the dye bath. Now he's rinsing out the first batch. 
the first rinse and the second rinse. Yeah, beautiful. So then he's going to be rinsing the second batch, which I think is a darker one. It's been in longer. So here you can see the, the three different batches are laid out and those will be used in weaving the final piece. This is an example of the kind of thing that Alejandro is famous for, these uh, incredibly rich designs with cochineal colors. Here he is in his workshop with some dyed yarns hanging on his loom. And here he is with his son Alex, who's about the age that Alejandro was when we first met. And it's been a great pleasure to, to work with him all these years.